Hello, and thank you for stopping by JD Halls and more. I'm Jennifer, and this girl is Quiver. She's my uh, 10 year old tabby kitty cat. She just wanted to make her first appearance on YouTube. So here's Quiver. She's one of our two cats. We have a calico cat named Lyric. Um, but she's sleeping, so I thought I'd grab Quibby. So here's Quibby. Isn't she just adorable? All right. All right, and I'm here with a Dollar Tree haul for you all. Yes, I've been running around some little bit glared up here with my glasses. Um, let me see. This is like two different trips. I, uh, my daughter, when she was still home, Courtney and I went up to a Family Dollar Dollar Tree. And then um, I just went to another Dollar Tree end of last week. Uh, when I picked up groceries. So I got some Valentine stuff and some just craft or squares, everyday item stuff and household items as well. I have not got this yet. Um, it says, I love you. It's Valentine's and it's a gnome with the galvanized um, tin. So I did get that one. They had the one with the, just the hands, but I'm just thought that was kind of odd just to have hands. On it, I wanted the one with the gnome, and then I also found this uh, wood bead heart wreath. It says, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I mean, really, I could just hang it up. It looks fine, and you could just you, honestly use this for every day as well. It just doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Look, <laughs> and then I got decor. They had the bigger ones, but I rather um, had this one. It's the little Nomi. Good for a tiered tray. So I did get that. Um, I found uh, more of those measuring cups, but I have the red one already. I did find it in the pink. I found more of those plushies, um, fuzzy friends. And this one just looks like a heart-shaped, uh, I don't know if it's a donut or a cupcake. I thought that was pretty cool. And then this one's really, you could tell this one's a donut just by the looks of it. So I'm guessing this one's a cupcake. And then I got some ribbon for Valentine's Day. Um, a couple of these are from the do uh, Family Dollar because they're just marked as a dollar. And this one's a red with little red um, specks of um, hearts in them. And then this one just says Valentine's Day, pink with red hearts, red writing. The other three I got are from the Dollar Tree. It says nine feet of ribbon. I've been looking for this. This is the pink, like the magenta pink, and then it has the hearts on the side. The upper and lower side. Got it in that. Got it in the red. And in the lighter pink. I like the lighter pink better than the um, like the hot pink. I found, they call this DIY pen, uh, pins. So this is the back of it. And, I don't know. Clip them to chip bags. No, I don't know. Yes, as you can tell, I did do some bang cutting. Very well. And then I got the heart-shaped ones as well, the DIY pen pins. I found some stickers. Actually, one thing of stickers and a couple cards here. This is 11-piece Valentine stickers. It says, love songs, love coupon, you're my magic person, happy Valentine's Day in a chocolate bar, and a heart. And the teddy bear, and there's looks like a glove coupon, the kitty, the cassette tape. And then the cards I got, one's a handmade one and one's just a regular card. This one says, for a sweet girl with love, you're a girl who's all sparkle, all about fun, and most of all, all about love. Happy Valentine's Day. I just got it for crafting. I thought it was really cute, the little ballerina bear. And the handmade card I got, it says, sending you my love today and always. It has like a little heart in an envelope. You can pluck that off, use it for crafting. Use this whole card 
you know, the front of it for crafting. So I got that. And the last Valentine's item I got for this haul, you guessed it, I finally found it. The viral glass jar with the pink, baby pink heart lid. Actually, Courtney found it as we stepped into the Family Dollar Dollar Tree and she grabbed it for me. So this will be part of my tier, on my tier tray in the middle of my table here. And the last bag I got is just random everyday stuff. I found this, they have by the Garden Collection, they're getting the spring stuff out. And this is a metal thermometer. It's 10 and 10.6 inch Celsius and Fahrenheit. And they had, I think about four different um, designs. I just went with the floral here, thought it was really pretty. So I got that. gonna dig out of the bag here as quick as I can. Uh, okay. I got some um, from Jot. It's 250 sheets of sticky notes. So as you can tell, they, there's two of the yellow, one pink, one blue, and one green. I always need sticky notes for odds and ends. By Crafter Square, I got pop-up stickers. I'm not sure if I have these or not. I may already have those. I know they have new ones of these out. Uh, look at the dog blowing the bubble there. Looks like a little bass or beagle. So I got that one. I got dragonflies. I think this one's new. <laughs> I'm not seeing this one. Pigs, aren't that just cute? Pigs with hats. And then balloons. I thought I had not seen that as well. And the last stickers I got is um, also Crafter Square. And this one spells out love. I thought that was pretty cool, especially for Valentine's Day. Make up something for Valentine's Day. I found some more um, Crafter Square fabric, craft fabric, 18 inch by 21 inch. This is just black and white stripe. This just looks like red with uh, white snowflakes, more in the Christmas, but I don't have that one. This one, I'm pretty sure I don't have this. I'm gonna open this one, show you since more of a print. Yeah, it has jars and there's bees. It's all in black and white. This is another Christmas one, the red and green and white plaid. And then, not sure if I have this one. It does not, no, I don't think I do. There's a snowman on it. It's so another winter scene, but of course, no me, so that's why I went with it. And I know I don't have this one, so. And I've got a lot of fabric quarters, <laughs> lots. Oh, container full. Also by Jot, 20 piece for both of these velvet push pins in the navy blue. And in the like taupe color, same color as the packaging. And then for health and beauty, a little health and beauty here, it's the Eco Gang bamboo cotton swabs, 150 pieces. And they look kind of look like beehives, if you see that little, they're different. Because I also have like the regular looking ones and I'll show you those as well. So those are like the regular looking ones and those are just a little bit different. Then I found also by Eco Gang, Fresh Mint Dental Floss, 50 meters, not seen that. And then they had a few different types of toothbrushes. Um, I think about four, maybe. This is Sensitive Bristles, Eco Gang. Um, so I got the black handled with the purple bristles. They had other colors, but I went with that one. And then I got, this is Liquid Lipstick by Burt's Bees. Um, this is, let me see if I can read it. Blush Brook 811 is the number. So there's Burt's Bees. 
And then I'm not gonna open them because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them. This is Lip Gloss by Maybelline, Vivid Hot. And this is 60 in Tease. Again, I'm not gonna open it because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. And the rest is Crafter Square. They're new crafting stuff. I've not seen any of this. This is a three piece farmhouse sign. So all these are the same, all three. This is family with the red truck. Then I found 12 piece each. This is in its indoor bar garden collection. Uh, Craftwood 3D bees. So there's 12 in them and the ladybugs. So found those. And then I got six piece by Indoor Garden Collection, craft shape. Looks like, you know, it could be the white picket fence with the flowers. And like I said, there's six of them. And then this is just 24 different shapes. So there's water, um, what do you call that? A uh, yeah, flower water dealer my hopper and I can't think of it, drawing a blank. And then there's flowers and a wheelbarrow. What is that called? Oh. Anyway, if you know what, put it in the comment section. I'm just drawing a biggest blank. Floral garden burlap trim. You've got point four inch by one yard, another four inch by one yard, and a point six inch by one yard. Just different burlap trim. Then I found these, both of these 45 piece by Indoor Garden. I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree, so I'm pretty sure they're new for this year, but good grief. You've got squirrel, acorns, leaves, mushrooms, and um, a little porcupine or hedgehog. It's hard to see with a sticker on it. So I got that one, and then I've got the ones with different butterflies on it and flowers. They had another one. I can't remember what that one was, but I didn't grab it. And the last few items I have are more, all this is still Crafter Square. This is, both of these are nine piece. It's felt flowers and leaves kit. It has two flowers, six leaves, and includes the glue. So it comes in the purple and the yellow flowers. And then also will comes in the pink and the blue flowers. So I thought that was pretty cool. You know, and put a, on, when you get done with it, put a magnet on the back and stick it on a refrigerator or whatever. And the last two things I have here, um, I have two graduations coming up in May. Courtney graduates from college on May 21st. And our son graduate, Harley graduates from high school on the 28th of May. And so we're having a little, you know, a little get together for him. Um, and by Cracker Square, both of these 22 piece, I got these little clothespins so I could hang up pictures. I'm looking for pallets and those little strings to put these on. So that's my little project for his, uh, you know, his school pictures and his little, you know, from baby up till 18. And then when he was in baseball, so yeah. And that's the end of the haul for you all. I still got a little bit of a haul over here on the table. And it has a little bit of St. Patty's Day and Easter. But I'm building up the collection. I don't get too far into um, St. Patty's Day. We're not Irish. I mean, what the heck. But I do have some stuff that I'll set out just for the heck of it. Um, but I do, um, besides Christmas, Easter is my other favorite holiday. So I am building up a little bit of a collection with that. But otherwise, work this morning with Diane. She's doing well. Murphy's doing well, growing like a weed. Um, but if you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please subscribe to JD Halls and more. Diane and I would love for you to be part of our YouTube family. And until our next video, which I'm not sure when that will be, just keep on coming back. Um, stay happy, stay healthy, and please be kind. That is free. And we will see you later. Have a good day. Bye.